What's going on guys? I'm Latronus and today we're going to be seeing if $15 worth of crown crates is worth it or it's not worth it. These crown crates just have crazy drops in them that can be super super cool all the stuff in the crates however is cosmetic you might be able to get some like experience scrolls and potions and stuff out of them um but most of the stuff people are looking for is cosmetic like mounts and stuff so we're gonna go ahead um hop into the crown store and buy 1500 crowns worth of wild hunt crates um this is fifteen dollars worth of crown crates we're about to buy so boom we have now bought them um so if you guys have never seen how crown crates work we're gonna open it you get four cards you flip over all the cards and they're just gonna be random stuff behind the cards that you can get um from pets to mounts pretty much anything in the crown store um i think you can get inside these boxes along with like food and some random just like crappy stuff so we're gonna go ahead open up these four crates and see if the fifteen dollars that we just barely spent um, was worth these four wild hunt crates and then I'll kind of show you guys what you could have gotten if you didn't spend that $15 on crown crates and instead you just spent it um, in the store so we're gonna go ahead open up our first crown crate uh, I see what happens okay we got four Ooh, that one flicked purple okay we're gonna open up this one first crown draining poison so poison's pretty dumb no one really cares about that try restoration that just gives you health magic and stamina okay we got a wild hunt antler skull cap i wish i liked that um but <laughs> honestly doesn't look very cool to me and finally we got flora swirl aura that's actually a pretty sweet drop right there we got a yellow one and a purple one i don't even know what an aura is um well I, we're, i'll show you okay i'm gonna keep note of all the things we get and then i'll show you all the stuff we get um let's go ahead set this hat as active why not we're gonna go ahead open up our next crate see what kind of goodies we can get Ooh, a bonus reward and it's yellow all right we're gonna open up this one first got some lethal poison again got a crown soul gem go open up the one on the end some warriors elixir and then this one, Black Marsh Keeper. Okay, so we got an outfit right there. Looks like a woman's outfit, and I'm playing as a male character, so that doesn't really help us at all. What are we gonna get for the last one? bonus what no way oh gosh we just got the black cinch panther mount that's really cool actually um i don't even that's not even in the store anymore that's super super cool dang that's awesome all right go ahead open another crate maybe you need one additional open inventory slot okay we're, i'm gonna open up that inventory slot we're gonna set this cinch panther as active real quick um got a I bet you, oh, look, at this is our hat that we got. A little spoiler. Um, okay, I'm going to just trash some of this stuff. All right, guys, so we just deleted a whole bunch of stuff out of our inventory to make sure we had enough room for all this awesome crap we're getting. Hopefully, we can get some more cool pools. Pools? Poles. We have two more crates to open. Let's go ahead and open this one, see if we get another bonus card. That was super cool. I didn't know that was a thing, to be honest. All right, we got four more cards. I don't think this is going to be a good one. The final one was a blue. We'll start from the left side. Restoration Potion. Crown Mimic Stone. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's just a style material. Um, repair Kit. And then we got a blue one. Hey, a Golden Retriever Puppy. That's pretty cool, to be honest. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and set him active so we can see him when we're done. We got one more Crown Crate to open. Let's see what we got. Ooh, we just got one more blue card unfortunate so we're gonna open up these three first just some more potions and junk see how much you just get so much junk in these cards let's see what the blue one is east skyrim scout outfit that's actually pretty dang cool can we set it active right now so we'll set that one active real quick and that is going to conclude the four crates let's hurry and see all of the new stuff that we just barely got so this right here is our first outfit um this is the skyrim east outfit is that what it said 
Um, it's actually super cool looking. I think I might keep that on for a while. Then we also got this hat right here, which I think it's kind of dumb, honestly. Um, some people, you guys might like it, you guys might like it, so I won't say it's dumb, but um, it's definitely not my style. So we're gonna go into appearance, into costumes. Um, we got the Black Marsh Keeper outfit. It's kind of a uh, woman outfit. I don't think I'll be wearing this one, <laughs> this one out anytime soon. It kind of goes with a hat though, to be completely honest. Um, I'm gonna take off the antler hat just in case. Oh, okay, yeah, so this does have a little hood that goes with it. Um, now we got the East Skyrim Scout outfit we were wearing before, but we didn't see the hood. Um, I think that's super cool looking, actually. I really like, um, it kind of looks like Skyrim, hence it's a Skyrim Scout outfit. Um, I think I'll keep that one on for now. Did we get another one? Uh, no, we did not. We didn't get any more outfits. We did get some mementos floral swirl aura invoke a temporary aura of the wild hunt sweet so we're gonna apply this and see what happens oh look at that that's kind of cool so only lasts for 20 seconds is that what it says i feel like that's so you can run around looking fancy putting off little blooms in the ground for 20 seconds is that it really I wonder if there's like you can quick slot it or something and then just kind of pop it whenever you want to. I mean, I assume. Oh, oh yeah. So now it's gone. So that honestly, it's not it's not very cool since it only lasts for 20 seconds. If it lasted all the time and you could run around like that all the time, that would be super cool. But it doesn't, sadly. So now we're going to get a look at the Cinch Tiger Mount. Did I just say tiger? I mean, panther. Ooh, yeah, look at that. That is a super cool looking mount, to be completely honest. Um, yeah, I really like that. That's definitely the best thing we got from this crown crate. Oh, yeah, look at our little dog. We got the sick golden retriever puppy dude following us around, plus a mount. And then we got tons of... Let's see if I can find them real quick. Um, they should be maybe highlighted. Oh, yeah, yeah, So we got 50 crown lethal poisons. We got a crown mimic stone. We got a crown repair kit, some restoration potions, um, some draining poison potion potions. We got a, I think this was actually from a crown crate open before this, this riding speed one. Um, so yeah, we got some, just like a few random potions and stuff. This stuff is definitely not what you're opening the crates for. It's the, just kind of like the lame stuff you get. So, ah, oh, man, honestly, I was like, I'm going to do this and I'm not going to get anything from these crown crates. And uh, I'm going to be like, oh yeah, it was totally not worth it. And this is what you could have gotten instead. That was the point of the video, to be honest. But since we got this sweet mount and then we got the doggy, which is super cool. Then we got two costumes, right? So we got a mount, a dog, two costumes. Um, one of them, which is actually really cool. The other one I'll probably never use. Um, and then we got just like a bunch of random... You know stuff that you always get from opening crown crates so yeah i would say that particular opening was worth the 15 dollars that we spent but let's go ahead go into the store and i can show you guys um what i would have done with the 1500 if i would have not bought the crown crates which i think it's under featured right now um yeah, yeah, yeah. okay so there's this starter pack if you're just starting the game the starter pack is 500 you get five experience scrolls plus a cinch panther cub which we got the mount so the cub would be pretty cool to get to um and then you get some random stuff so this is kind of like if you were to open up um like two yeah like if you were to open up like two crown crates you probably have a possibility of getting all this stuff in those two crown crates but it's just a possibility and it's only 500 crowns and it's guaranteeing you all this so that's a pretty good deal right there and then there was one other Let's see if i could find it real quick special offers maybe yes right here the starter pack adept is i think this is a really good deal for a thousand crowns um and i don't think you could get with out of those four boxes you couldn't get enough stuff to replace the 500 dollars starter pack we just looked at and then this adept starter pack so this one you get a thief outfit you get the knight of the flame outfit and you get the mages guild outfit plus you get a regular horse which you know it doesn't beat the cinch panther but it is still a horse um, and then you get all these training lessons. So you get riding capacity lessons, riding speed lessons, riding stamina lessons. Um, and then just like a bunch of random stuff, plus the 10 crown experience scrolls. So 15 experience scrolls, three outfits, a horse mount and horse riding lessons. 
versus um, a sense a cinch panther um, mount, a golden retriever, um, two outfits, and a few random items. So when you compare the fifteen hundred dollars, fifteen hundred dollars, fifteen dollars spent um, doing the starter packs and the fifteen dollars spent doing the crown crates, I would say it's safer bet to go with the starter packs. I think we got decently lucky on our drops. Um, and I don't expect a lot of people get that lucky um, to get a cinch mount and a pet and all that stuff that we just barely got in those drops, which is <laughs> pretty insane, pretty lucky. I'm really glad that I spent the $15 on the crates because I don't really need this stuff since I'm far into the game. But if you do need this stuff or you're starting out in the game, always, 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 I would go for the starter pack adept and the other starter packs we looked at for 500 So $15 for all that stuff. I think if you compare it, it's worth it to go with the starter packs rather than the crates. Um, but if you're a gambler, you can chance it with the crates. Just don't get pissed off when you don't get anything, please. And don't go ahead and spend 15 more dollars. And you're like, oh, it's just 15 more dollars. Oh, it's just 15 more dollars. And then you look back and you're like $500 in the hole. Please don't go and do that. That is not what the point of this video is. Just I would personally just buy stuff straight from the crown store and not from the crown crates because chances are you're not going to get anything good. Um, we got pretty dang lucky, lucky and got some cool stuff. Um, so if you want to try it one time, I say go for it. But do not get sucked into the gambling trap of these crates because so many people do and they end up spending just horrible amounts of money. So yeah, be cool with your money. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more Elder Scrolls Online content, go ahead, drop a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Race. Oh wow, I'm trapping on the way down. I'm grinding on like a holy rail and I'll hit the slows and go ham. Pray, oh no, I cannot take this slow. I'm grinding on like a holy rail and I'll hit the slows and go crawl. Yeah, race. Oh wow, I'm trapping on the way down. I'm grinding on like a holy rail and I'll hit the slows and go ham.